This is News 8 Football Frenzy. It is a double dose of the frenzy for week one of high school football. The season got off to a great start last night with several close games. And we expect more of the same tonight. Our crews will be all over once again tonight working to bring you the most highlights in West Michigan. And the team is ready to go right now. Matt standing by with that forecast. But well, we want to begin tonight in Muskegon with Marley Weirdo, who's live at the first game of a Friday night football doubleheader already underway. Marley. Yeah, North Muskegon and Muskegon Central Catholic just coming out of halftime. There's already a lot of energy here at Hackley Stadium, which is home to the Big Reds. They're the most, the winningest, excuse me, high school football program in the state of Michigan with 877 wins and counting. There is a certain tradition of excellence that the players and coaches want to uphold, and there comes a responsibility with that as well. They talk about uh, the, the Texas football. They talk about you know the Southern football in uh, the South, and but Muskegon always seems to get tossed into that that uh, conversation a little bit with all this history and this tradition. And you know they kind of call us the Alabama of, of Michigan or you know the University of Muskegon. To understand why Muskegon carries that legacy, you have to start from the bottom up. So many of the stadiums today are aluminum sheets of, of metal on the side of a highway. This to me is probably one of the greatest things that this program has that really kind of sets them aside. And that's the iconic Hackley Stadium, nestled right in the middle of a Muskegon neighborhood. MHSAA historian Ron Pesch knows plenty about the program and the Hall of Fame coach that helped lay the foundation for the Big Reds' home turf. When Bob Zupke got here, he looked at the initial plans, which were to build a football field, if you can believe this, of 50 yards. Zupke said, that's not gonna work. And so he redrew the plans and set up a 100-yard football field on the site. The rest was history. Muskegon hosted its first game on Hackley Field in 1907. 20 years later, Hackley Stadium was built. It's evolved since its construction nearly a century ago, but it still embodies the Big Red tradition. It's a great feeling to, to watch this place fill up on a Friday. Actually, I played my first peewee football game in the stadium when I was younger, when I was nine years old. Nice. And then to be the head coach now here is pretty, uh, pretty special. Shane Fairfield is entering his 12th season as head coach of the Big Reds. He's following in the footsteps of some big name coaches, including college football Hall of Famer and former Illinois head coach Robert Zupke, even current national champion and Ferris State head coach Tony Anise, who he worked under in 2008 when the Big Reds won a state title. Along the way, they've the, the coaches before me and the players before me, you know, have built one heck of a race car, and my job was just to keep it on the track. But he's had no problem carrying on the tradition. Fairfield is on pace to become Muskegon's winningest head coach. His 131 wins are just 25 shy of the current record held by Leo Redman. To, to be up there with the Dave Taylors and uh, Leo Redmans and the um, Tony Anise and, and those guys is, uh, is, is very special. Uh, it, it does put a um, sense of urgency and a sense of pride, but yet a sense of like you know responsibility.